Okay, now that you have your Tubus modules, um, I just want to show you how you can connect them. Okay, so I have a red uh, Tubus module here, a green one, and I have a third uh, red Tubus module just for context. And I'll show you how I connect these three. But you would basically connect six of them to make a flat um, spinner looking um, project, okay? Basically what you want to do is spot these triangles, this triangular section right here uh, in the Tubus module, okay? So I have that one on the red um, module and this one here on the green module, and I'm going to try to put those two triangles right next to each other. And I can do that by um, setting this long flap on the green underneath, on the, on the green module, underneath the red triangle, like that. Or, in reverse, and when I do it this way, I have the red on top on the opposite side. Or, I can put the red to, uh, module, the red module's flap, underneath the green triangle and then I would have the green on the top on the other side. But basically when I put either of those long flaps underneath the respective triangle, then the two triangle sections, triangular sections from each module are right next to each other like that. That's what I want. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it so that it's the green on the outside that is on top of the red. Okay, the red will be underneath. And then I will come with my next module, the third one. And because I want to keep the green on top, I will make sure that it's the one that is on top on the other side. So I will put the red module's long flap directly underneath this green triangle and that will allow the green to stay on top. Okay, so just like that is how you should have it. Now at this point, something I want to point out is that each of these triangular sections can open up into a pocket. And these flaps can be tucked into the pocket. So that's how you end up holding these modules in place. So I will go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna take these two long flaps of the red modules tuck them into this green triangular section just like that and I notice that I also have this green flap here available to tuck into this red triangle so I'll go ahead and do that I have to open up the red triangle first Okay, so that gets hidden that way. And then on the other side, this green flap can go into this red triangle right here. At this point, this project is halfway done. Halfway done because I've got red, green, red these three triangular sections right next to each other. I will then come in with my next green module here, do the tucks. My next red module here, do the tucks. And finally, my last 
green module will slide right in there. And after I tuck all these flaps inside the triangular pockets, then my project will be complete. Okay. Now, if you want to make a um, flower, you can have fewer modules. Okay. And when you close them up, so here I'm only using one, two, three, four modules. And you can see that I can actually turn them so that instead of being flat, it pops up. Okay. So I can go ahead and do that. Tucking the available flaps into the available pockets. And just like so. And again, see here it, it, it's flat and this would cause it to just be a flat project if I added a couple more modules. But instead I'm going to bring this edge of this triangular section to this edge of this triangular section, just like that and then tuck the flaps like so. And when I do that, it's kind of like popping up, you see, popping up. And if I just curl some of these pages or some of these uh, paper sections in the, on the inside, it looks like a flower, the whole project, okay? So I just wanted to point that out and hopefully that makes sense to you. All right, thank you.